Hold on, hold it in there and just bong. No, but you gotta do the. Oh, oh. Okay, you ready? Yep. Bong. They tell me I sound a little funny. A little funny. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm sorry. Oofta. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, sheep. Oh. Oof, 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 oof. Oh, oh, these are the. These are the shears. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's at this. It's. It's. Oh, it's a hand. Like, yep, yep. It's a like it's hand shear, and it's connected to a pole, which is connected to a, a plant drive, and it spins. It spins the thing in the pole, which spins the hand piece, which is connected to the pole, and <laughs> this, things move like that. And you're like, Shh. so there's like a comb, and there's blades. Oh my God, fire! Like Just like, <laughs> it's okay. We're okay. Yeah. <laughs> Chow Show, what up, what up? Today, let's give a nice warm welcome to the famous Seamus Experience. Hello. Uh, welcome to the famous Seamus Experience. My name oh. is Seamus O'Grady. So. Did you just try to overdo my intro? No, no, okay. no. I mean, I have a thing I like to say. Okay. And then you have yours. Mm. But since this is your video, I'll let you go first. What brings us here today is the Famous Seamus Experience. It is a YouTube channel as well, and this is Seamus of the show. Tell us all about it. I got the idea of starting my YouTube channel from everybody telling me about how interesting my life is and the crazy things I do sometimes. To me, they're just adventures, but some people, they're life and death. I bought some nice camera gear, and I started recording my adventures, and I called it the Famous Seamus Experience. And so far, <clears throat> there's really just a lot of shooting on it. <laughs> Me buying guns and trying them out. Snap. Yep. Bing, bing, pow, pow. And I have been putting on <clears throat> my old canoeing adventures, my old winter adventures, and anything that I do now and into the future, I've been recording and turn turning them into a little adventure video. And, uh, and also, been just teaching myself a lot of stuff. So shooting, I picked that up last year pretty much and I've been kind of coaching myself along. And uh, you know, there are also great learning videos if you wanna you know, pick up on shooting and see what I do and see the mistakes I made and then improve from that. So when you say shooting, you're saying shooting guns. Yep. So it's videos of you shooting guns, okay. Yep, videos of me shooting guns and because videos shooting could be like shooting things, oh, you know? Oh, well, or... I also do that too. Okay. I do some photography, long Ooh. exposure photography. Cool. More specifically. And with that, uh, that's a really expensive hobby. You got to buy some fancy glass pieces that act like shades for your camera. Hashtag shades. Yeah. And also another inspiration was actually you, Kayla, because you're like, oh, I got this <laughs> show and I got... Over a thousand subscribers. And I think that's when I was like, <laughs> maybe I should do that too. On the channel soon. Mm -hmm. Actually, tomorrow morning. Tomorrow be, morning. Yeah, tomorrow. You heard it here first, folks. Tomorrow yeah. morning, tomorrow which morning. will be Saturday. This video might come out tonight <laughs> or it might come out tomorrow. So by the time this plays, this has already happened. But go. Yeah. Okay. Um, I will be moving to Montana. I quit my fancy Montana. city job of an operations manager for a business that does quite well. They did like 17 million last year and they're projected to be like 21 or 22 million this year. But I was like, boss, <laughs> I quit. <laughs> Cause hey, I- Hey, yo boss, yeah. I'm out. Yeah. Um, well, I quit after I had my jobs lined up. So I'm going to Montana mm -hmm. to be a sheep shearer. And then after that, that's only from January to May. Then after that, I'm going to Medora, North Dakota, where there is a musical, and they have fireworks during the musical. And I'm the guy that pushes the buttons to shoot the fireworks. That is awesome. Yeah. And during the day, I ride horses. <laughs> Do you get paid for that part? Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. I cool. get, it's a trail, trail ride. Okay. I'm a trail wrangler or something like that. Howdy. I'm not sure. Why are you not wearing a cowboy hat right now? I forgot it. It's in my trailer. Okay. Yeah, in my trailer is uh, here. And during this whole <laughs> not experience, in here, yeah, but... not, not, not here. I will be living in the ice fishing house. So I do a little bit of van life, RV life, ice fishing, or tiny home life. There we go, tiny home. And, They're all the rage right now. Yeah, yeah. He's very hip. Yeah, and I've been making my own home improvements to the RV. <laughs> like last night, I put in a sink. A sink. 
I don't have any running water yet, but I did that last night. That's so cool. So, but back to my Montana adventure. Mm -hmm. So January to May, mm -hmm. I'll be shearing sheep. So sheep need to be sheared once a year. Seamus the sheep shearer. Yep. And then the famous Seamus sheep shearer. Yep. <laughs> and then from about June to September, uh, I will be riding horses and shooting fireworks. And if you're interested in that trail ride, just come visit me in Medora, North Ooh. Dakota. It's pretty much Montana. But anyways, and then after that, I will be a hunting guide from September to December about for the fall hunting season in Montana, Wyoming, or Idaho. I don't know yet, but um, that is the only job that is kind of up in the air still because um, I am signed up for a guiding school, a, okay. a wilderness guide school in Kellispell, Montana. Okay. And then from there, um, they get job listings and typically they have more job listings than actual students. Okay. So that's the only wild card right now, but for Well, that sounds very promising. Yes. More job listings than people that need the jobs, so, yep. or that want the jobs. Yep. And typically the people that graduate from this wilderness school, five week course, mm -hmm. uh, they're thrown in over their heads, typically, so. Well, you're saying they are typically. Do you think that you are more advanced than they probably um, start out as? I would say no, but I like, but I handle adversity pretty well and I learned from my mistakes and um, no, but I think I have a little more grit than the average person. Cool. Yeah. That's amazing. So you already have everything basically lined up. Mm -hmm. The portion that you don't have totally lined up, you still have nine, eight-ish, nine months to get there. So yep. plenty of time to find a job. Yeah, to find a job. It's really about finding an outfitter that will hire me. Mm -hmm. They will hire people without a wilderness guide school certificate or I don't know what they give out after you complete it but um, yes and um, but the thing I did not do yeah. was quit my job on passion or on like oh, on, a whim. Yep, on yeah. a whim I dug it out or dug it out I don't know what I'm trying to say I stuck it out stuck it out there we go I stuck it out for six months <laughs> as I planned my escape Oh my god, my escape! That sounds horrible. Like, you're like, like that job was jail to you. <laughs> this place is a prison. <laughs> I pretty much lived there, so kind of. Yeah, you can't yeah. really escape at all when you live there. No, no, and uh, I wasn't really enjoying my time. Well, I was enjoying it at points, but, but the overall experience of there, um, I, I would say I learned a lot. Mm -hmm. But I stopped learning after, but three months and um, and I was just looking for another job. And um, the main reason why I left my previous job as an operations manager of a warehouse was because of the owner of the company. He couldn't let things go. He couldn't let me take control. Essentially, he didn't trust me to do my job. Sure. Because he couldn't risk me making a mistake and him losing money. He had trouble delegating. And, yep. Yeah. Yep. Or he had trouble just letting me do my job. Okay. So ultimately, when he refused to hire, or when he refused to fire an employee that I felt that needed to go, even though he did not meet the standards that we set, he said that he was still an okay employee to keep. If I can't set the standard at the, at the lowest level, then there's no point in me being there. Yeah. And then that's when... Well, especially, yeah. yeah, if you're in a management role and you can't, if he's not letting you manage, I mean, yeah. what are you doing there? Yeah. Also, um, that wasn't your passion, right? I mean, that was nope, in um, a warehouse. I saw you belong our, outside. Yeah. I don't even know how you're inside right now. I mean, it's we did, I did lure him with tacos. She did feed me. <laughs> and often it's pretty hard for me to keep my shirt on. I want to be civilized and um, be proper. So I do keep my clothes on. Um, <laughs> so I planned my great escape, stuck it out. And now uh, when I got the phone call of my job that I'm going to go this Monday to. The sheep shearing job. Yep, told told my boss, put my two weeks in, and here we are. Wow, bing, bang, boom, things can happen that quickly. Yeah. So Famous Shameless Experience is going to document all of these wild adventures that you're about to take. Yep, so when I go out there, um, I'll be traveling from ranch to ranch, shearing sheep, and uh, through my studies of sheep shearing, um, some 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 things you have to do is uh, shear the dingleberries. 
that hang from their fur. Oh, yeah. I've got a couple of practice berries if you need. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> no, not from me, from Matt. Oh, Matt. <laughs> yeah, I'll uh, bring my shears in. And, okay, uh, well, well, now it's okay. We'll uh, turn it on. <laughs> and, I mean, it is Friday night. Let's get wild. Um, these shears, they're, they're, they're pretty intense. They'll, okay. uh, they'll, they'll chop things off. Hey, what if you miss? Oh um, no, you don't start at the dingleberries. You gotta start with somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, so you yeah. gotta get used to these yeah, shears. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's a process to it. And yeah. There are schools, sheep shearing schools that you do go to, but the guy that is going to employ me, he has uh, a system to bring on new people who, who haven't been to sheep shearing school. Wow. So he said, we'll start that process, and by the time you shear a whole sheep by yourself, you should be able to do it on your own. That's cool. Yeah. And I'm just very fortunate that he's taking a chance on me, because uh, typically you don't hire somebody who has no experience or didn't even go to a sheep shearing school. Yeah, Maybe. so how did you find out about, or how did, did you know this person? Nope. Um, oh. it, I reached out to a friend, and her brother, she years sheep and I okay. talked to him and he said he would hire me okay. in the month of February, no, April, no, March, March, March. Okay. March is where things for him gets going, but I said, I would like to start sooner. So if you could give me a phone number to call and he did and I did call that number and I got the job. That's awesome. Yeah. So sheep shearing from ranch to ranch. Yep. And then, uh, Van life or tiny home life is something that I'll be putting up on my channel about the improvements I make to my tiny home, mm -hmm. what I do, what I don't do, and how I bathe. Like I just bought a really <laughs> big dog pool. No, you did not. Okay, <laughs> yeah. dog pool though, or is it actually like a, a kitty pool like for children? No, nope, it's a dog pool. Oh, there okay. was a dog in it when I bought it. But no, the picture, there was not. The picture, there was a picture of a okay. dog in it. I'm imagining you just going to someone's house, there's a dog in this pool, and you're like, that's mine! <laughs> I got no, 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 I got my own. I got my own. I got my own. And um, so I'll be setting it up inside my ice fishing house, and I'll just boil a bucket of water, or yeah, a bucket, and then just throw it on me and soak it up. And not, the, not when it's still boiling, though. No, no, no. I <laughs> heat it up. Scolding hot. Yeah. You know, there was a time in my life where the only way I did bathe was a bucket of water. Okay. So you're going back to that time. Yep, yep. But that time was only for a month, and I will be sharing for about five months. Okay. Yeah. So where's all that fur going to go? Because um, they're going to be furry. Yeah. Uh, we take the fur and throw it in the compressor, compresses it, encases it, and it's out of here. Get out of here. It's um. Out of here. Um, thank you for explaining that. I was more curious about the all the fur that's gonna land on your body, and then you're gonna have to wash it off with a bucket. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that. Did you plan that, for that? No, I, yeah, I did not. Yeah, because you have a, it's a it's a tiny house, and so it could get full pretty quickly. It of, could. Um, basically, you're gonna be living with the sheep. I will be living with the sheep. Hmm. Uh, hopefully, uh, I know. <laughs> hopefully, the fur don't get into my ice fishing house. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You should pick up a twang too. A twang? No. Yeah. Well, there is a Mont Mont a Montana twang out there, mm -hmm. um, but I don't know if I'll pick it up. Okay. Uh, yeah. So shooting, and then on these ranches, uh, hopefully I'll get the chance to shoot some coyotes. Holy Hannah! Yeah. Are uh, coyotes a problem around? Yes. Now? They, around that town? Yep. No, around the whole state of Montana. Wow. Uh, Mont Montana is pretty. It's pretty much ranch land, and a way that a lot of people make their living is cows and sheep and some other miscellaneous animals mm -hmm. but uh sheep uh they are small enough where coyotes can get in there and kill them mm -hmm. and so that they need to protect their sheep yeah and by protecting their sheep they need to take care of the predators and coy coyotes they're considered a nuisance predator so you don't need a license or anything like that to shoot coyotes hmm. okay yeah um the guy that's going to hire me, he actually, uh, I was just looking at his pictures, and at one ranch, they had a bear, like, kill, like, 11 oh lambs. No. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, what? So I saw a picture of just lambs, like, laying, no. like, laying about, and so. So was it like it happened overnight where it was like this bear is going rampant and just killing? Um, it's, oh, like, over the course of, like, a week. 
Because so you, like, you have to have something to take down the bear, and those things are yeah, yeah. big. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's black bears in that area. Well, I guess it depends on the area in Montana. There are grizzlies out there. But, uh, yeah, so we do need to be armed. Wow. Or the ranchers do. That's sheep shooters. But hopefully when I'm out there, I get the chance to practice some shooting. They're like, no, 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 buddy. You don't need that because you're busy <laughs> shearing sheep. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, and how I live my life in my tiny home. And I also have my own home gym. Bought some 100-pound dumbbells and then two 60-pound uh, kettlebells. So you'll go, oh, this is like, work out. <laughs> And how I stay in shape that way, because that is yeah. a common question I get: is how do you stay in shape, Seamus, or how do you look the way you do? Yeah, and it's all about and eat the way you eat, because dang, yeah, <laughs> I do eat a lot. <laughs> so all of that can be found on the famous Seamus experience. Yep. And um, I'm definitely going to drop the link below for the channel. Is there anything else that you think that the viewers might want to see from things that we talked about? Um, the photography that you do is that also famous Seamus experience yes. or is that its own thing? Nope, that is part of the channel. So this channel will be primarily the activities I do outdoors. Um, I am brainstorming another channel to share what I do to keep up on my health, my physical health and my mental health and my spiritual health. But that will be at a later time and date as I establish myself and I'm kind of on the move right now. Yeah, you've got a lot stuff. going on. Yeah, I got a lot going on. And I just need to focus on one thing at a time. Don't want to get too stretched out and fizzle. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I'm sure that we will have you on the show again. Yeah. Especially when you are um, bringing on the new show or just in general to catch up. Yeah, yeah, in general to catch up. And I do hope you come out there to visit. I will. And I'll take you camping. <laughs> He's going to take me camping. You heard it here first, yep. folks. I'll take her camping and maybe maybe we'll shoot a few rounds at some uh, prairie dogs or something. Oh, like my, I've never shot a gun. And I would not shoot a prairie dog. Okay, we'll shoot at targets. I gotta go because now I'm crying. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll shoot at a target. Okay. Okay. Deal. And then I'll put up my gong. Or we'll bang bang. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you, Kayla, for having me on and at the Kayla Gal Show. I look forward to future. Um, what's it called when you friendship. Were Friendship and oh, collaboration. Future collaborations with the Kayla Gala Show and the famous Shane's Experience. Because there will be more. Hey. <laughs> so we're recording now. Yeah, um, I see is, that. This yeah. is the camera, mm -hmm. and you're going to be right here on the monitor. <coughs> That'll be picked up. So if you're going to cough, leave the room. Um, okay. And then I'm going to sit right there. Okay. <clears throat> like, Taking promos from the and like the chin up like get the double chin back oh yeah like i know mine is bigger than yours but you gotta make sure it's back yeah make sure my muscles Can't look feel. good good through my shirt do you feel ready yeah I do. feel loose yeah yeah cheers